stop. And she's just having the time of her life. She's like, I'm not stopping. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well, we are here at the shop today. It has been a while since we have done a shop video. Now it is later in the day. I think it's like almost seven o'clock. We had to come over to the shop because the alarm was going off and Andrew was all panicked that someone was breaking in. It was, there was nobody breaking in. We, everything was okay. <laughs> but we we're getting calls from the security company because they were concerned. So everything's all good. We walked in and all we had to deal with was this weirdo. It was a little alarming, but <laughs> we're going to go through some recent purchases today because there's some stuff here that we've purchased from auctions that's kind of piling up a little bit, if you couldn't tell. I mean, it doesn't look like, it looks more cl clean, more organized than the last time we were here, but it is piling up again. So I'm going to show you guys some of our recent purchases go through those with you so that we can get them listed because I feel like I need to show you before I list them. That's just how I feel. This is amazing. I posted this on Instagram. I was so excited. I thought this was going to be smaller and here it was at the shop and I'm like, wow, you know what? That's way bigger than I thought it was. I'm not mad at it. I'm actually happy because now I can't sell that. It's way too big. I have to, I have to keep it now. So I'll just, I'll hold on to it for a little while. And you know, I think it might actually, it actually might look pretty good in the back room. You know what? Let's take it back there and look. Oh, okay, here we go. Ta-da! Oh, wow, look, there's books on the bookshelves. There's a table. It's looking pretty good back here. Look at all the color. I bought this rug at auction. I was really excited about it. It is actually hand made. Um, it's signed too. I forgot to show you guys that. I bought this rug. It was very exciting. I have another one in my office. It's fantastic. I bought this at auction. I moved this back here to add a little bit of color, the little stand back there. And now this, can you picture that on the wall back there? It's gonna look great. It's gonna bring everything together. This was the piece we were waiting for. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it back there because I can't hang it right now. And we're gonna just, we're gonna envision it all together. Watch this. See, look, look at that. Look at all the color. That's what it really needed. It was just boring and gray and now, pow, look at all the color. I'm so glad that it was too big to sell. Beautiful. Okay, well, we're just gonna exit out this way. I've got my Hager, my Hager leopards up there. Those were a gift from Michael. I love them. They're up on top of the bookshelf. This was the other rug that I bought. It doesn't quite fit. It's a little bit too small for the room. But I will make it work. Hi. Hi. I'm filming. I'm gonna have some liquid death. Liquid death. It's uh, mm. canned water. Yes, from the Austrian Alps. And it's got a crazy cool skull on it. It's death. And it's liquid and it's good. Death to plastic. Wonderful. <laughs> Not sponsored. Um, <laughs> I've got my Murano pieces here in the window and my Rookwood bird. I have to get a desk. I want a L-shaped desk or a U-shaped desk to go in here and I just, I'm uninspired because I don't have the right desk. I had to find the right desk to be inspired to finish this space. A lot of you are asking, how does your studio look? This is what it looks when I'm like, when I'm not recording because I'm just uninspired. I bought a computer. I have a computer to put in here. I'm just not inspired. And also I was so excited to buy this cabinet and it just does not fit in here. I feel like it's out of place. 
So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. That was a little bit depressing. I bought these birds. I don't think I should eat those birds. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet either. Look. <laughs> we just went in a big circle. Okay, let's go look over here. Giving you guys the full grand tour of things. I bought this box. Do you think Walter put anything in this box? Oh, you bought tiles. I forgot you bought tiles. I actually bought a whole thing of tiles. Wonderful. And you remember this. Got that at the Goodwill that turned the lights off on us. Oh, look. That looks like a stevenograph. 1914, 1918. A souvenir. De Bell. I don't know. This is interesting. Anyway, um, in addition to that, I bought this. All of these. All of the stifes. This guy is way smaller than I thought. No, wait, never mind. That's the one I thought. I'm like, wait a second. He's smaller than I thought he would be. And the greatest part about it is that this guy. Oh, I thought he was signed. Maybe he's not. I thought he was signed Stife. The best part about it is, is I bought this. Is he still over here? He has to be. Where is he? I think he's in that box down there. There he is. Look. They're friends. Maybe they're not the same. I thought, you know what, they they have to be the same, but they're not. They're just very similar. Very similar. This one is Stife. And um, when I bought this one, I thought, you know what, that one could be Stife. I wasn't positive about it. It wasn't marked as Stife or anything. I just bought it on an inkling that it could be Stife. I know for a fact this one's Stife. Anyway, here's the penguin shaker I never showed you. Check this out. Is that not amazing? I'm obsessed with that thing. Super cool. Anyway, let's get back to the other stuffs. So what else do we have in here? We got a little Pekingese with some grass on his nose. Yes, yes, and yes. Camel. Oh, look at this Airedale Terrier. And a little owl. What else? Walter packs all this. This is a vase. Oh, that's, yes, I know what this is. There we go. It's marked on the bottom. Oh, this was the one that was marked in Asian characters. And I wasn't really sure about this one, but I liked it. So I bought it. And this. That feels like glass. Ooh, wee, look at that. That's beautiful. I love it. That one's marked FHDI 60273. It's got those bleeding hearts. So we got that. There is a box underneath. I bought this artwork. It's a happy doll on it. And a bird, and a fox, elephant, crocodile, all of the things you could possibly want in a piece of artwork. And it's marked Chica Brunswald NWS. I loved it. Obsessed with it. <laughs> now they look really cool in the back room too. Not sure if I want to sell it yet. Your artwork's getting to me a little bit lately. Then we have the quilts, and I went a little bit crazy on quilts. These are 1980s, and the 80s are hot right now. The 80s are a thing because um, everyone of my generation is now nostalgic for things of their childhood. So this is 1981. It's a rainbow quilt. Then there's two of them. 
Not one, but two rainbow quilts. This one, unfortunately, does have some staining to it. I was debating whether I wanted to try to get the stains out, and I'm kind of on the fence. This is all flea market stuff. Obviously, you remember that, right? You were there for that. Underneath, we have the quilts. Hang on, let me do this two-handed. This quilt is amazing. I probably went a little bit too high on this. <laughs> but I was obsessed with it. Absolutely obsessed with it. And Julia has a quilt on her bed right now. It is the Lone Star quilt um, that I got out of Paul's booth at Bedford Straight Antiques. And I might swap it out for this beautiful thing. I think I paid 300 for this. I, I probably paid full retail, but um, it's an amazing condition and I love the vintage fabrics it's just incredible incredible so um, I wish I could spread it all out for you guys but there you go there you go it's a little bit spread out but it's a beautiful quilt and it was actually, um, I believe this was actually with one of those rainbow quilts. So they were paired together. And then the other rainbow quilt was with this. This guy, which is a stitched, stitched blanket. And we have sold these before and they did pretty well for us. We've got this one and we've got this one. And I love the floral designs on them. Unfortunately, they're laying on the floor, so they're getting a little bit dirty. This one has a... I can't tell if that's discoloration or if it's just shadow. It looks like it's two different colors. Maybe a cream with a white. But they're beautiful. I, wouldn't, I, I was a little bit like, I think I need some quilts today when I was bidding on that auction. And I don't know why. It's not every day that I'm like, I think I need some quilts. But for some reason, on this day, I was feeling it. <laughs> um, this guy is, I thought that this was pottery. It is pottery. Yikes. It is marked on the bottom. It's kind of an ox blood. Red. Super heavy. And very interesting. So I grabbed that. I don't think there is anything in that box. I love this. This was another piece of artwork that I bought. Um, a little girl skating down the hill with the stop sign. Stop. And she's just having the time of her life. She's like, I'm not stopping. That was pretty great. Over here, this is some of the stuff that we got from the recent clean out that um, we haven't really done a whole lot with yet. And um, I believe this is the most recent auction pickup. I bought a few baskets. And um, I just thought that they looked really neat. I don't know much about them, but I thought they would be great for decor. Hopefully more more than decor, but if all else fails, they are really nice pieces. So I didn't know much about them. But my thought was, you know what, if they're not significant in any way, if they're not Native American, if they're just blah, then at the end of the day, they would make for very good decor pieces. And we've got this one too. So those were fun. And oh, lamp shade. I gotta get this piece listed up on Facebook Marketplace. I've just been putting it off and putting it off. I took all the pictures and got the measurements. So now I gotta list it up on Facebook Marketplace. Dina is suggesting that I start it at $300, which I feel is fair. Is a really nice piece. It's my $10 couch. Kind of won it by mistake. I was just like, you know what? 
that should be selling for more than just $7.50. I'll throw a bid at it. And then by mistake, I want it for 10 bucks. And Andrew was like, why did you buy that? I was like, sorry, I'm, I didn't mean to. So this was just some Christmas stuff. What do we have up in here? This was the most recent most recent sale. I didn't think we bought this much, but apparently, apparently we did. I don't think I'm going to go through all that right now, though. You can see it's really coming together over here. Really shaping up. We've got shipping over here. The shipping shelves are actually looking pretty bare. This is the other piece I wasn't really sure of. I forget where we bought that, but it was just really intricate and really neat looking. And I was like, you know what? I feel like that's something really cool. I still have no idea what it is, though. That's why it sits back here. So I can figure it out. I don't know what's in this box. And I'm a little curious. Oh. Wait a second. I love rediscovering boxes. Look at this. Got a little Ali Brihe in here. And this is super fragile. Little hound dog. What does he say under there? Kind of hard to read. It says something. Looks like a copyright. Adorable. I'm obsessed with him. I remember some of this stuff. This is the moss. Nicholas Moss. A little Tonella Owl in there. Some good stuff in here. Henri Music Box. The little cake. I don't remember any of this. I feel like this is possibly an Eric box that was missed. So we're going to pull the lid off and we're going to check it out. Do you see the clown? <laughs> he looks really cool. And I'm usually not one for our glass clowns, but the fact that he's got that really neat marble in his hands. I like it. Oh, he's Jordan Imports Company. Look at that. He's got his J.I. Co. sticker with the gondola. I mean, it makes sense. He looks he looks like a Jordan Imports Company. <laughs> oh, I like it. This. Airbrush Rest. Airbrush Restaurant Wear. Yes, that is what it is. Syracuse China Company. What is this? I think these go there. Ooh, those are neat. It's really cool. McCoy. I like it. I'm a little nervous to put stuff back in the box. We'll just be very careful. We'll actually move this guy over. Bring him over here. Stick him on the shelf. Ta-da! So one of the things that we are always talking about is books. And we have a lot of them. I, this isn't even like all of them. I think there's a ton more out on Dina's shelves. But you can learn a lot from these old reference books. Not necessarily as price guides, but just looking through them, you can identify a lot of different pieces. Look at this. Great Shakers. What's this one? American Beauties. The artwork of Harrison Fisher. Graniteware. Wall Pockets at Cookie Jars. There it is. 
Holt Howard Collectibles. Got to brush up on this one. Oh, look at all the fun, fun little guys. Look at their faces. Actually, we've had some of those. Oh, look at them all. Aren't they fun? Goodness gracious, look at all the vegetables and the fruits with faces that I could find. Oh, look. We recently saw those weirdos. They were at the Mad Hatter. I could go back and get them tomorrow if they were still there. They're probably not, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Well, for the rest, you're just going to have to buy the book. This is the second edition of Holt Howard Collectibles. Oh, wait. What did I just see? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Kachina doll carving. Cat the nurse flipper just bought a book on Kachina dolls because she has been buying and selling a lot of them. This is really cool. I'll just send her some pictures of this book. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.